Welcome back. We are here with 16th of February's body blessing. Now imagine you face any problem. What do you need to do at that time? Mentally, intellectually, and that decision can only be made when you are in complete silence. That means there's not too much of chaos going on in your mind and you are able to retract your thoughts away from that situation for a while and think about how you have to take care of it and what tools of spirituality, what powers of spirituality which you can use to tackle the problem or the issue. So let's understand what does God have to say over here. Supreme Father says, may you stay in solitude and by stabilizing in your eternal form, that means soul conscious form. If I am a soul, then how do I tackle this? If I am a physical being, then how do I tackle this? There'll be two different answers for that. Find a solution to all problems. God says, your original religion and pure action of yourself, eternal form and your land is peace. Original religion is peace, pure action of yourself is peace and our eternal form, not this physical form but the eternal form which we are is also peace. The special power of the confluence age is the power of silence. That means you shun away all the disturbances from around you. You go within in your thoughts, what is going on in your mind's eye. You look at that, purify the glasses of your this spiritual eternal eye, clean the glasses and then see through the issue. Your eternal quality is of an embodiment of peace who gives peace to everyone. The solution to all problems of the world is merged in the power of silence. It's not a physical silence of your mouth, but it's an internal silence of your thoughts. The lesser number of waste thoughts, useless thoughts and more number of powerful thoughts, decisive thoughts and you are on track to solve the problem which has come in front of you. Because souls who are embodiments of peace are in solitude, they concentrate and with this concentration, they develop the powers to discern and to judge what should be done and how it should be done. They are able to find an easy solution to any problem in interactions with others and anything on the spiritual path. That means it's not just on a spiritual level that you are interacting with people, when even you are talking about worldly things also, you are able to find solutions while interacting with people. You are quick in your thoughts because you have a very fine insight in things, in solving those issues and what can be the best way to take care of it. And that can only come when we are in silence. And the method for silence is to connect ourselves to the world of silence where we have all come from. That is also known as Param Dham also known as Godfather's Abode, also known as alim e arwaha in the Muslim Dharma. So we have to connect ourselves to that Brahmaloka and be in silence and immediately come down and take care of the things. So it's an interaction with that world in few seconds, couple of seconds you can do that. And we have to increase this interaction on a daily basis. In one second you are in there, in one second you are here, in one second you are there, in one second you are here, in one second you can go up and be in that world and in one second you can be physically over here. So it's about this eye and this eye, these two eyes and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. How fast can we do that is what depends upon your inner purity of your thoughts or the level of purity which you have attained over a period of time and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You two are welcome to learn it. Shanti.